We're going to start with a stat. Guess how many years of the last 12 that Scotland won their opening match in the Six Nations? I'll give you a clue. Once. Really, they've got to improve on that to do anything in, this, uh, in the Six Nations, and they know that more than anybody else. I think on this particular occasion, they've got England first up at Murrayfield, Calcutta Cup. Every incentive to do well, win that, anything's possible. Lose it, another season of underachievement, you suspect. Anybody who can score a try for Scotland is going to be a player to watch this uh, Six Nations. During the World Cup, that's what they really struggled for, didn't they? Max Evans, fantastic elusive runner, but they, when it mattered against England and against Argentina in those crucial pool matches, it just didn't happen. So Max Evans, the Lamont brothers, anybody at fly half, scrum half, they haven't quite worked out who they're going to pick yet, but that's where they want. They want somebody to make just that bit of difference, that bit of quality close to the white line. I don't think Scotland's secret weapon is much of a secret, frankly. It's that crowd at Murrayfield, the opening match, Calcutta Cup, as I've said, Really big game. I don't think they'll stint on the firework budget. Andy Robinson, head coach, he might be an Englishman. What matters to him, he said he wants to see a sea of salt tyres, which is hard to say, but when you see it, probably quite impressive. I think it'll make a major noise. I think that's their secret weapon, the crowd at Murrayfield. Every year for the past few years, I predicted Scotland to do pretty well, and it hasn't happened, let's be honest. Uh, this year, I can't really abandon them, but let's be realistic. They're not going to win the championship this year, but they will improve. I would foresee mid-table, 